Well, uh, we're back here. We're doing whatever. I'm in a cornfield, and I don't see any launch pads around, which kind of sucks. Well, let's go stand on top of the top of the mountain. We'll figure out what we want to do. So, uh, I guess preface. We might as well pull up the patch notes uh, just so we know exactly uh, what has come out. So this is the uh, this is the weld tool uh, patch specifically. So what is that GIF? Oh boy. What? The deuce. Okay, that is a really weird gif that they're showing for this. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you guys. Anyway, uh, so we got the weld tool. Uh, two main features right now. Weld loose creations and other creations by pressing the left mouse button and pick it up. Uh, left mouse button again to weld it to a surface. Alternatively, if you have a creation where you want to connect two parts on separate bearings, make sure the creation is on the left and then the parts are touching each other. Then simply hold the left mouse button on the first part and drag the other part to weld them together. Interesting. Uh, let's see, so they've added the pat the weld tool, fixed frame rate issue caused by sensor, uh, network synchronization improvements, and a random bug about incorrect seating position. I have no idea. All right, let's figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna move my fan forward a bit as I have gone into casual mode. Okay, let's get on top of the mountain. Let's see what we can do. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking. Escape to push the stu ah, pipes and stop signs. Nah, that's not really. That's not really that cool. I'll think. I'm gonna think about it as we climb this mountain. Whatever I do. I mean, I could make, like, a tripartite car. Mostly, I just kind of want, want to mess with things, just so we, we see exactly how stuff works. Uh, this is a taller hill than I thought it was going to be. All right. Like, I mean, the easy option is, um, is working on a, uh, oh, what is it? I, I guess the easiest thing to do would be to build a, a structure that, um, What am I thinking? Was this a straight up mountain or is this... This was one of those mountains actually. It's just one of the shorter variety. Okay. Uh, I mean the easiest thing that I would I would think of welding here would specifically be, uh, you know, additions onto sky, uh, sky base. And like working with that. Which could be kind of... All right, which could be kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, I had an idea. So, obviously, there's not really a whole lot of point to making a train in this game. That should be obvious. But I'm curious. Okay, let's put a bearing down here. Let's put a block here. Pull out the weld tool. I'm not entirely sure how this thing works yet. Nope. Gotta get a bearing for this. Looks like. I don't... Bep, 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 bep. How does this work? Okay. Must be on a bearing. Oh, I see. I see how it works. So you connect these two right next to each other, and then we've got part two and part one. So if I do that, they're mystically, magically welded together. Okay. Okay, let's let's mess with this. I might be able to make some kind of weird not train today. Which could be interesting. Anyway, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, let's make another one on this side. Um, what I'm thinking is... I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work. Um, let's see. Make a Voltron. I mean, it could be interesting to make it on a Voltron. Well, it makes, like, some kind of Voltron-y thing. But we just did that, or I, I, uh, rudely, uh, actually, let's alternate it. I rudely got my, uh, showed up to a collaboration session between, um, a bunch of YouTubers. Uh, technically invited, but still late. And, uh, well, eh. Alright, whatever, not my fault. Let's, let's go. Let's put the engine down. I have no idea how this is going to work. It's not going to be able to turn. Oops. Yes. This is what we want to do, actually. Okay. 
So let's find, let's find out what this exactly does. Uh, let's make sure the wheels turn the right way. And this is going to be really awkward. Yeah, make tank treads. I I don't know how tank treads are going to work. Oh, one way or another. Let's take it off the lift. Oh, right. Huh. All right. So that kind of worked, but that's not really what I was going for. All right, let's 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 improve this. So clearly way too much torque. Let's fix it. Okay. Let's fix it good. Uh, let's see, where are they? There they are. All right. One. See, how many feet do we want? Let's space them out a bit. Three between. Probably. Perfect. All right. Let's do that on the other side. Uh, we need it to go just a little bit further out, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then vice versa. Oh, shoot. It's slightly uh, mismeasured, but I mean, when is that any different from what I normally do? Okay. Interesting. They don't they don't rotate at the same speed. I mean they kinda do. But they kinda don't. I mean it's funny to watch, but it's not exactly that useful. Let's see. If I wanted to make a train, I connect the engine to the outer bearings. Yeah, let's try that. The boot thing is funny. But uh, not exactly a train. So let, let's go back to what we had. Actually, no. Let's let's go a little bit back to what we had. Let's get rid of some of the shit, and let's let's make a train. Let's let's make an honest to goodness train tonight. I think that's a good idea. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of the wooden blocks. We're gonna do it with pipes. I'm thinking, because pipes are gonna look a little bit more train like, honestly. Okay. Clearly... Measuring things would be handy. Alright, whatever, we'll just, uh, we'll just throw in the, the shorter pipe segments for the time being. God, I love Mega Man music. Shame they haven't made a good one in years. Saw Inti Creates in concert at, uh, Magfest, and it was actually pretty bad. Alright, that's welded together. That's welded together. Okay, so according to chat, if I wanted to make this more like a train, I'd actually have the um, the bearings on the outside be the one uh, pushing it forward. So we're going to try that. That sounds kind of interesting. Oh, it's on a lift. Oops. Also, i got to hook the engine up. Alright, there we go. So let's try three, and still on a lift. Oh, dude. This is so freaking slick. Okay, so we've got the proof of concept down. However, I don't like the fact that, um, I don't like the fact that my pipes are, are so far in. I'd probably get more torque this way, uh, and speed and whatnot, but it touches the ground, and that's not how it works on trains. So let's try that again. Let's put it on the left, and let's try it again, uh, this way. Yeah, it'll be a little tighter, but it's life, right? Okay. We'll do that on this side, too. We'll keep messing with it. What I'm probably gonna have to do... Oh, you know what? No. I wonder... Oh, God. I wonder if they added copy and pasting yet. They probably haven't. That'd be awesome, though. Um... But so what we'll do is, uh, we can cut this thing up now, and I can actually, um, I can actually, like, stitch it back together in a configuration that I want. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Alright, so we've got the 
engine set up. Let's get these, and let's see what the speed is. I guess, worst comes to worst, if it's too slow, we can always just up the engine power. Or go with an electric engine. But this isn't a maglev train. This is totally just like a standard diesel chugging whatever monstrosity. All right. All oh, the bearings are backwards. Why are they... What? Interesting. Oh, this is this is perfect. Okay. So question. Do we want to make the train like this? Do we want to make it wider? Okay, kind of nitpicky, but the bars would be at the same spot. Really? Okay. Well, if they would be at the same spot, then let's make them at the same spot. Let's start high. I think that'll be better. Why is Mega Man X4 the, like, favored one in terms of all of these uh, remixes? I don't know, but I love it because I love Mega Man X4. Alright. So yeah, I'll, I'll cut this up in a second. We'll start adding some extra train sections here. For the time being, though. Weld this together one more time. Hook it up to the engine, make sure that it's rotating the right way, delete that, and Yeah, you're right. It would totally it would totally be this way. Oh, this looks so nice. Yeah, so we'll we'll add turning and stuff too. Obviously this train is not going to have um tracks. Let's see. There's a suspension glitch in there to add uh turning. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a suspension glitch in here. However, I do think I do think I'm going to make it bigger. I know. So, oh god! No, 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 no. I I do think I'm going to make this wider. I I know some of you said don't, but at the same time, a a real train is not a small endeavor here. Uh so let's cut it down the middle. Okay. Let's put that over there. I think that's wide enough. Plus, uh, the other reason I want to do this is so we could uh, get an accurate. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah, this is this is some space to work with. So let's, let's add that. I'm trying to think, what kind of frame rate do we, frame rate do we want to work with? Not frame rate. Um, how do we want to make this train look? Like we definitely want to train, but honestly, it's going to be big. Oh, what if we use stop signs in place of wheels? I mean, it would be about the same thing, honestly. Uh, well, I could do ramps. Kind of have like a snowplow effect. Might not be a bad idea. What if I did something like this? Go for like, yeah, that looks a little bit more train-like. Obviously, should probably... Measure it so it's in the center, but still. Uh, I should also make sure that I have this as an even length. Two, 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 two. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's not what I'm looking for. That That's still not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. That looks a little bit more train-like. A terrifying cow catcher. I mean, dim cows need to be caught. They're a menace to society and otherwise. All right, let's just make. Uh, this, thing. this is going to be a heavy ass front. But then again, I'm going to have a fair amount of train behind to push it along, so that should be okay. We'll still need to make sure it's pretty light, though. I could use electric engines to push it uh, past. Okay. We actually probably want to make this wider. Maybe? No, I don't know. Let's take a look at an actual train here. Get a get a nice little look at a... I'm just going to search train, and we're going to make one of the first trains we find. Oh, okay. So the, um, the second set of ramps on the top part is not what we want to do. I'm going to space it out just a little bit more. The Though the nice part is, I could actually keep redoing this as much as I wanted to. 
and split it off. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Okay, so we got that down. Uh, let's see. Then we, then we're gonna build this in a bit. Okay. We're going with uh, we're going for realism today. I've not done like a model anything in a while, ever really, uh, because it's not really my shtick. And let's see, let's just build them on top of each other. Oh, this is nice. We'll have to paint paint it or something, but whatever. Actually, yes. We probably want to build it on the vertical because I'm not going to be adding a backing. I need to make this as light as possible. Okay. So we get that set up. I'm just running off of uh, somebody else's model for the time being. And honestly, it looks pretty nice. Okay. Well, not somebody else's model. There's no other model to work with here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we might have to cut off some of the parts on this. But I think this is a good engine we might want to make let's look at this oh whoops fuck how did I do this let's see oh, that was a little weird now let's put this on the lift. Lift it up. Ah, no more lost work. This feels so good. Okay. Grab this. Grab that there. Oh. Guys, you have no idea how good this feels right now. Okay. Is that it? That's perfect. Perfect! Alright. Yeah, I made a mistake. I mismeasured. But guess what? Measuring doesn't matter anymore. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Alright. Uh, so that should be good. That should be good. Let me make sure it's all lined up here. Yep, it's all lined up. I feel like the cabin should maybe be a little bit taller. The problem is I don't want to make it too tall, obviously. But at the same time, it should be taller. Probably. We'll see. Yeah, let's let's make it a bit let's make it a bit taller. I I want to have a um. I more or less want to have like a wheel well here, that goes over the wheels, so that from the main compartment you don't see them at all. And that'll be kind of like the platform to work with, too. Uh, obviously, I don't want it to impact on anything, but still. I might actually put this episode up to... Well, I'm definitely putting this up, episode up probably immediately uh, after we finish filming tonight. Because uh, as much as I'd like to keep streaming, some amount of relevance is good, and also this welding tool is so good! Oh, man. Okay. Um, yeah, so we want to make it taller. Do we want to make it thinner? No, we probably don't want to make it thinner. We'll just have several, several, uh, several engines here that won't have big heavy metal parts. And stuff. And then we'll try and go down the... Uh, go around the map. We'll do, like, just a basic three-car terrain, I think, for the time being. Uh, if I can get down to the... Ooh. Okay. Um. God, I might actually almost pop these off entirely and put them on a suspense. Where are they connected? Oh. What? Oh. Wait, what? Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Hope this doesn't fail. We're gonna try putting this on a suspension. This is unfortunate.
Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to do this in reverse. Oh, it's because it's not on a it's not on a platform, that's why. Okay, uh balls. I knew I'd mess something up. Okay, so we want it to be right there. So we're gonna have this here. We wanna We're gonna have this around. See, uh, I gotta go get a wheel. Luckily, I'm not gonna need a seat for a while. This is gonna be a very intensive build, let me tell you. All right, then we're gonna delete this because obviously not super useful. Probably shouldn't have done that. All right, whatever. But yeah, we needed uh, we need the suspension in here just because uh, if this thing is going to be going over various stuff. Okay, there we go. That's how you get the suspension in. So let me see. Cool, don't fail me now. So the question is... We're gonna have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, no. Weirdly enough, this time it worked. No idea why. Alright, so we're gonna delete that one. We're gonna have the uh, suspension, then I'm gonna put a block on top, then I'm gonna connect it. Okay, this is way more complicated than I thought it was going to be, but at the same time, it's totally worth it. Oh, right, well... It's not as pretty as I wanted it to be, but it works. Okay, cool. So now we have the, um... Now we have the, the... The train parts, specifically on a suspension. Uh, I don't know if this is actually that necessary, but it seems like a generally good idea. Okay. Let's put that down. And I'll just extend the wheel well there. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna have to move the cow catchers up, aren't I? Or this down. This is so nice. I mean, at this point, I'm making... I, I'm not thinking so hard because I've got a, a means of fixing it. Uh, which I, I'm, like, thoroughly appreciative of. Delete these. Do you want it? Yeah. Okay, so we want to be there. Oh, I see. I got to put this on a lift. And we got to lift it up a bit. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this way the cow catchers will be slightly higher. And the wheels will be slightly lower. I don't like what I just did. I mean, I love it, it looks nice, but at the same time, this is still problems. Okay, there we go. So we want to extend, we want to extend this a little bit further. Then we connect it. Okay. So let's put this on a lift, back over here. Put this on a lift over here. God, this would be so much easier if Bird was actually round. Too bad Birdcatcher is, um... is off sleeping with the fishes for the time being. We'll revive him in like a month, but still. Okay. So you want to put it right there? Oh. Up higher. What? What's the issue? Oh, I didn't actually add the extra blocks to the end of this. That'll do it. I'll move it out a little bit, too. I think that was the original placement. Let's see. Okay, there's just a little bit. Yep, perfect. So I'm going to have to do the same thing with the other side, too. You know what? It's going to just be easier to rebuild this than reconnect it, probably. And this way I can get it to look nice. And I just deleted the cow part of the cow catcher. Okay, next tool we want, uh, everybody, is the undo tool, right? Please? Yes? Okay. There's- there's gotta be some kind of, like, crazy glitch that's- that somebody's gonna cook up as a result of 
all of this new nonsense. Like, somebody is definitely going to come up with, like, the most insane build as a result of this. It's not going to be me. I'm just going to keep doing what I do. But somebody is going to have just a very strange thing. I keep hearing a spray noise. But I don't think it's this game. I was just afraid that somebody was, like, poltergeisting my game. I'd be really impressed if that was the case, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Alright, so this, there's the same wheel well, and it looks like we want to have our suspension come down just off of this one. I actually really don't know if the suspension is going to be super useful here, but at the same time, me. Okay, gotta have the bearing, the wheel, the wheel, uh, let's see, it's top middle. Okay, and we're going to take this thing for a test drive for a bit. Let's see. Uh... Making mistakes constantly. This is what happens when I play when I'm tired. Because uh, I am quite tired. Oops. Like so. Well, pull together, and we're in business. It's very front-heavy. Okay, that presents a problem. Oh, shoot. No, what? No, no, that works. That works fine. Okay. We're gonna add the other train car. Then take this out for a drive. Okay. Since I went in the train, I can have separate engines for each side. Yeah, probably. Okay, so we've got the base there. Let's extend this back this way. I'm just going to put kind of a base framework for the front car. kind of wish I had made it a bit thinner, but... Oh, well. I guess I could put, like, a nice window in here on the side. The problem is this is the wheel well, so, like, I really do want to go taller. Well, let's get the let's get the walls in total, and then I'll cut holes and maybe maybe make it taller. Probably make it taller. Now, question for most for most of these, they probably have two sets. You know what? We might as well have. We could actually have. Ooh. Okay. Question. Do we want? Do we even want this to be so long? No. No, we don't. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to make some adjustments here. I like this. This is a good design. However, it's really long for not a whole lot of extra benefits. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have... This. Okay, cool. So let's pull out our suspension once again. So we're not going to need a wooden block for a little while. Okay. Wooden block there. This here, bearing, wheel, delete that, bearing, there we go, weld. Okay, so now we've got a much smaller uh, engine thing, and it's a little bit uh, nicer. We don't need the big thing that we had. The reason why I'm doing this is we're actually going to fit two of these on the engine. And they will, I mean, they should work pretty well. So we want it to be there, straight. So it's going to be up here. Easy enough. Yeah, so this way we can have two sets of, um... Two sets of wheels on the, on the front train. And probably most of them. This is not going to be a small build. Um, but this way we can have a little bit extra. And it doesn't flip over so easily. Oh, I just realized we've got this big wheel well outside wall thing. Uh, I'm not so happy about that, actually. Because, yeah, it's the, um... It's the cow catchers messing everything up. I really did make them too big. Well, let's cut this down a bit. Cut this off, maybe. What we could do is extend it out one block further, 
And that way, kind of, the cowcatcher still makes sense, but it's not too bad. Uh, and then we can fiddle around past that. I uh, should have... Eh, whatever. Plus, we can expand out a little bit. And I'll have, like, a little walking... I just noticed something. Did I do it again? No, I didn't. I just am dumb. Well, I did do it again. Just not the way I thought I did it. Okay, there we go. No, I did something wrong. Alright, welding tool to the rescue. Once again, I made a mistake. Uh, the real question is, how do we want to do this? Do we want to have it so it's slightly exposed, or do we ha want to have it like I had here, where it's completely covered? Let's have it, uh, let's have it covered. So, let, I'm, I'm gonna go with the right side, so we need to bring this one in a little bit. Remember, kids, measure never, cut always. Okay. So let's back this off. We're gonna need to add some extra wooden blocks at the end, obviously, to redo it. There we go. You know what? Let's finish let's build finish rebuilding this one so I can have a vague idea what it's supposed to look like. Or not vague idea, complete idea. Okay, there we go. There we go, so it's got... It's recessed a little bit back. Let's delete that for the sake of propriety. Just so we know what we're doing. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Why is there, like, this weird recess in here? There shouldn't be. Okay, that's better. Um, So this is working out. Let's get this off the lift. Let's get this on the lift. Let's... Why is this... What? <laughs> okay now um so guys this is a suspension glitch in action uh completely unmanned and completely accidental also haunted haunted as shit <laughs> this is hilarious it is still going all right it finally stopped um that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> okay. I gotta put this on the lift. It's not gonna work otherwise. Okay, please still be there. I should have put a lift anyway. There we go. I, that was really weird and pretty great, and there it is. Okay. Looks like a dump truck from GTA 5. Yeah, I can see it. It definitely does have that kind of dump trucky feel. Okay, so now it's symmetrical. <laughs> and very top-heavy.